Good afternoon. This is Woody Collins, and this is another episode of Talking About the Congo. And it's a few minutes after three, and we always do these uh, as close to three o'clock as possible daily. So thank you for stopping by, and thank you for those who are going to watch it on a replay. We appreciate it. And I'm sitting at the house today. Uh, in the sun, it really feels good out here. And but we're gonna go ahead and get started. We are uh, talking about health clinics. Health clinics, uh, there's not as numerous as schools. Uh, we talked about schools on yesterday and how those schools uh, are really uh, most of them are made out of mud and and sticks. Uh, today, we talk about some of the health clinics. The health clinics are in a little bit of sh better shape because they are not as numerous. And also, they are more likely to be funded for improvements by outside agencies because of the sheer number of schools. It's kind of hard to impact the uh, the students and, and all the students that's available. But for health, there is a lot more uh, significant funding to improve the health uh, clinics and stuff. So you will see that on, I got a video that we're gonna watch. Uh, the video starts out with so many mud and stick uh, health clinics that's located. There's quite a few of them that still left because they, they have not had a chance to renovate all those but also uh, you can uh, get a chance to look at some of those and a lot of them are still available to, you know, that's out there that needs to be replaced with, uh, with really sturdy uh, uh, modern health clinics. So let's go ahead and watch the movie, uh, the video, and then we will get back to uh, talking about them a little bit more. But I want to give you a little context as to what they look like and then we can go from there. Okay, uh, that gives you a kind of idea of what they look like uh, from a mud and thatch, uh, a mud and sticks and thatch uh, built, built building. Some of them are in pretty good shape and some of them, as you see, are really uh, uh, dilap dilap dilapidated. So, uh, but as you saw in the ending, 
there was new health clinics that have been built and remodeled by the U.S. Uh, government, USAID, and also by the U.K. government, uh, DEFEDS, and uh, UKID. And so you can see those are really looking a lot better. And they're, uh, you know, they, they have uh, a number of improvements. Number one, they have solar panels where they can uh, have lights in the facility at night when they need them. Also enough uh, solar power to run some of the machines that's in there. They also have uh, uh, bathrooms. Uh, that uh, latrines that's outside and with nice doors and, and everything. They're still pit latrines, but they're really nice. Uh, also, you, they have cement floors, uh, windows that uh, open and close, and they got brick buildings. So they are very nice. And the final thing that they have is a, uh, uh, the majority of the ones, especially that UKID did, they have a water cistern outside where they can collect uh, water from the metal roofs that they all have so that they that the clinic has war, uh, water to not only keep the place clean, but also to clean up after patients and things like that. That's very important uh, because uh, sanitation and hygiene is important to keep down the spread of disease. So as you saw in those pictures, uh, the modern ones are really nice, but there is a, a lot of them that still do not have a, uh, that type of facility. Uh, maybe that the U U.S. and the U.K. will come through with another project to build uh, some more. And uh, I don't have a figure on how many uh, that there's left that's not uh, renovated and not in good condition, but I would suspect that they is, uh, they're quite low uh, because they don't uh, uh, go through and do all of them when they're doing them. They only do a selected number of them. So uh, that's kind of what that looks like. And to give you an idea of what people, as you saw, even in the mud and sticks and thatch, uh, that's where the women come uh, a lot of times to have their babies. Uh, also, if you're sick uh, with any type of ailment, you will come there. However, as you saw in the one picture, uh, except for some of the new ones, they don't have equipment. Some of them don't have uh, microscopes and, and uh, even uh, uh, stethoscopes. So they do not, uh, they're not equipped well but some of the newer ones and the modern ones, they are equipped much better. And, and normally, if they've had their building renewed, there comes a package of where they're going to be supported with medicines and uh, essentials that will make it much better. So they don't only get the building, but they also get uh, equipment and medicines to go in those buildings. So that kind of gives you an idea. Uh, and so I thank you all for stopping by uh, today. And uh, just for emphasis, I'll run that video one more time to get you, uh, let you take another look at it. But those videos are on YouTube and also in Facebook so that you can look at them at any time. And if you have any questions later, please reach out to me and we can get those answered for you. So let's run that video one more time and and let we we can go from there.
So as we close off today's uh, episode, thank you all again for stopping by those who are online uh, today and also for those ones who are going to look at us later at their convenience. Uh, as always, I ask you to uh, take care of yourself and take care of your family. Uh, be safe and wear your mask. I got mine close by. Uh, wash your hands frequently and also socially distance as much as possible uh, because the the rate of infection here in the United States is constantly steady going up and we want that to end and the world to get better so that I can get back to Congo and also uh, be blessed. And we will talk with you later. So take care of yourself and we will see you tomorrow at three o'clock p.m.